Hey everyone, Bobby here from Bipper Media. Welcome to another episode of SEO Secrets. And uh, today is Saturday, July 7th. Hope you all had a great, safe, and happy 4th of July uh, holiday. But let's go ahead and dive right into what I wanna talk about today. So I did a YouTube video and a video on Facebook and it was in response to a question I received from one of our clients asking how can they use social media for their local business. So uh, the video and the content I put together, it's something we do here every single time we post on social media, uh, something we do here at Bipper Media, and I, I'm surprised I actually hadn't talked about it before, but it's basically using social media, using your post on social media to build location authority. and. Location authority is a term we've used a lot in previous episodes. You're going to hear it a lot in future episodes. Location authority is what we refer to as your ranking power or your, your ability to, uh, to increase your rankings in your presence in local search, such as Google Maps, Apple Maps, uh, Bing Maps, and mobile local apps, such as Foursquare and Yelp and things of that nature. So. In essence, the more location authority you have, the more presence and rankings you're going to have in local search. Voice search is a huge uh, component to location authority. Or the more location authority you have, the more presence and the more rankings you'll have in voice search based query. So I want to talk about how we, and, and this is very simple, but how we use social media to increase location authority for your local business. And in the video, and you, again, you can see us at, uh, you can see the video on YouTube, uh, just find Bobby Holland and just find our YouTube channel. Um, you can find us, find the video on Facebook, just search for Bipper Media on Facebook. Uh, you'll find the video there as well. Um, but there's three main social platforms that we do this with, and that is Facebook, link, I'm sorry, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, okay? So Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are the three main social platforms that we use this for. Um, and when you create a new post, let's just start with Instagram, for example. So you go to open up the Instagram app on your phone, go ahead and create a new post. Well, as soon as you um, get ready to add that post, you'll be taken to a final screen where you share. Well, in there, you'll see an option to add a location. Simply tap that add a location, search for your business, and you should see your business come up. Now Instagram uses Foursquare as their data source. So you need to make sure you have your business listed and verified in Foursquare in order for your business to show up. All of our clients at Bipper Media, this is already taken care of. Uh, you, the listener, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to help you and, and walk you through and show you how to do this. But if, if your business is listed properly and accurately in Foursquare, you'll see your business come up. And most importantly, um, getting your business listed in Foursquare, you need to use your Google My Business or your Google Map listing as the base platform for your business data. So your listing in Foursquare has to be an exact match, business name, street address, city, state, zip code, phone number, website, URL, all of that is what we refer to as a citation. The citation in Foursquare has to be an exact match to your Google Map or your Google My Business listing, all right, in order to get the full maximum benefit of this strategy. So again, back on Instagram, created your post, hit add location, search for your business, <clears throat> that's gonna pull your data from Foursquare and it's going to attribute your, lo your, your local business data or your location information, it's going to attribute it to that Instagram post. And then you just go ahead and hit share and then boom, you just created another published citation, your, your business information on Instagram published your citation on Instagram, which created another citation for your business, okay? Same thing with Twitter. Just open up your Twitter app, create your tweet, hit the add location. Twitter, likewise, uses Foursquare for its local business data. So again, same process as Instagram. Hit add a location, search for your business, it'll come up. 
boom, tap it. It's now going to attribute your citation to your tweet. Okay, so, or in, in other words, you're increasing the number of citations published on Twitter, just like you're doing the same thing on Instagram. And then over to Facebook, finally with Facebook. When you go to Facebook in your Facebook page and you create a new post on your Facebook page, you will see um, it's typically called the option to check in, but you can, you can use this check-in option on every single post, okay? So go to your Facebook page, create a new post, um, and then go to check in. And when you go to check in, now Facebook uses Bing for all of its local, local business data. So when you go to check in, just search for your business, you'll see your local business information come up, and then just tap it, and now you will create a citation for your business directly with that Facebook page or that Facebook post, okay? But on Facebook, since Facebook uses Bing, again, the implication is that you have a 100% a accurate business listing matching your Google My Business or your Google Map listing on Bing. If you're a client of Bipper Media, this is already taken care of, but if, you, if you're not and you're just listening, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you uh, get this set up. So, um, so on Facebook, when you publish your location, it's gonna use Bing, but you're still achieving the same thing that you achieved on Instagram and Twitter. You're publishing a new citation on Facebook. And when you look at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, those are arguably the three most powerful social apps in the world, right? And think about it. Every time you publish a new post on those platforms, you have the opportunity to create another instance of a published, cita published citation. Sorry, let me say that again. Every time you publish on these social platforms, you are creating another published citation that matches, that is an exact match to your Google My Business or your Google Map listing, okay? Locate, circle this all the way back around to location authority. Location authority, one of the ways you can, one of the ways that you do increase your location authority is by increasing the volume, i.e. the number, total number, and the authority of your citations. Okay, we refer to it as your citation portfolio. But because Facebook, Twitter, Instagram are so authoritative, every time you publish on those platforms, you are adding to your overall location authority. And the end game, the ultimate result that we're looking for here is to help your local business, your location, help you get found faster and more efficiently in local search, when people are on Google searching, when people are on Google Maps, when people are on Yelp, or when people are using voice search, when people are asking Siri or asking Google uh, things that are relevant to your types of business, your type of business products and services, location authority is how you get found first and get found fast in search. So um, wanna finally invite you to our Facebook group you can go to Facebook and find SEO Secrets. And I created that Facebook group so that we can have a way to continue the conversation. Uh, so if you have questions or you want us to look at, you want me to look at your um, citation like in Foursquare or in Bing, because uh, you're gonna need those platforms set up properly in order for this strategy to work, uh, go to the Facebook group. Again, it's SEO Secrets um, and post your questions there and I look forward to continue the conversation there. So, uh, so that's it, thanks for listening.